Hey there everybody and welcome to, I should hide the UI, sorry, I just uh, interrupted my own introduction. Welcome back to uh, Camel Kingdom and the Arabian area, which is um, Mebat Al Shamal or Al Yamal. I, I had somebody posting it in the comments and he said me, oh wait, I have to skip that song. It's a bad song, I hate it. There we go. Um, it, it, or is it Mebat Al Jamal? Something like this. Anyways, we are here today and as you can see, we are not in a speed build. We are in um, a kind of showcase in night time because last episode had to be um, yeah ended because the game crashed and I could just save somehow um, the uh, the footage of it. So at least that was good, but I completely lost the progress of the last 45 minutes of gameplay. So I had to redo all the lamp posts. So that means that we do have some more different lampposts now in. I, I kind of rebuilt some of those and I also started to put them down. That said, I first of all need to show you one thing. Oh, you know, I'm gonna show that afterwards. Um, and then I'm gonna explain you a little bit how we gonna go on in the future. But first, let me show you some of those lampposts. So let me just begin with those hanging ones over here. So this is, and this is what you didn't see in the speed build because that's where it <laughs> crashed. Um, I I just took those fairy, I believe those are fairy, fairy lights, how they're called. Let me quickly, come on game, come on, be quicker, please. Uh, I should, yeah, without UI, this is a problem. Uh, edit building, yeah, the UI is turning in, there we go. Yeah, it's a fairy light. Okay, it's a constant fairy light, you can see. I just took this, rotated this in a circle and put those Christmas pieces on top and there you go, we have a kind of Arabian looking lamp, hanging lamp post, lamp? No, it's not a lamp post, it's a hanging lamp, whatever. Um, I think it, it looks pretty decent. I, I really like this one. This came out of kind of a coincidence and I still like this one. So then we do have those uh, hello game. Could you please stop lagging? We have this little one over here, which is made out of the monsters lantern, which can plop onto the car or whatsoever. And it's also the axis of the, uh, I believe monsters cards as well, uh, which then is on top of it. it. It doesn't really cast much light, which is not that big of an issue. We have this one, which I don't know if I will keep it maybe if it looks nice later on but I still miss something on the bottom part of it it just looks like floating in mid-air I mean there are lampposts in the kind of Arabian area that are like this but it's not a rope it's kind of more like a bended plank or somewhat so I don't really know if I do keep that one but never mind I just wanted to show you so yeah this one have you have seen this one come on wow it's lagging like hell I'm really sorry for the frame rate by the way so if you are a good lurker you may have spotted already the next one so we have let me just move quickly as close as possible so we have this one which I also like quite a lot um, because this is made out of the normal oil lantern I just completely rotated that around it its own origin a few times then I plopped it the other way around and just moved those two new constructs into each other I believe that was already in the last episode in the footage so you have seen how this was made but then again we are facing a problem um, and please guys if you are listening take out a notebook right now get yourself a pencil or a stylo or whatever something to write down something and now note down if you do want to make something out of lanterns or lights in general make sure that the first piece you take and you want to rotate and reuse a million times make sure that there is the little checkbox checked which means activate on trigger because if you don't all those little lamp posts lanterns light sources are activated and your frame rate will be melted down in no time and your entire area will be illuminated like um, with an atomic bomb so in the end I did this mistake and I had to you know check all these little checkboxes by hand so I was uh, like half an hour just clicking into this thing to deactivate as many as many lampposts as possible. That was really a mess, really. That was a, a little bit of a mess. Um, I can't really tell how much of a mess that was. Could I just, okay, thank you. Um, so 
Next one will be this one and I love this one. So this is our big chandelier I would say and I have no clue how I even got this done. Uh, it was again a complete coincidence. I just thought okay let's rotate this one around the not as its own axis uh, but around the middle pillar and I tried to put in some other pieces and yeah well then we just had this beautiful thing um, and same same happened with this one as well I also needed to check those uh, those those checkboxes man damn it uh, manually so yeah basically that's what I needed to do but as you can see they are glowing like hell which is nice but they don't cast too much light but I love I just love how it looks look at this it's just I just like it also with kind of the star field thing to it and and those structures I really like the looks of it I really like it so then we have this one it's it's rather it's, it's more of a classical one you've seen that in the time lapse basically I just changed the middle part of it because I thought this one would be a nicer one mm, yeah but this is already it like oh, I just love uh, the, the depth of field is really decent in this game right yeah that's how those lanterns look like and I still have is there one left I believe Oh, is that all? Oh yeah, we have this one, which is basically the same as the hanging one. Um, it's a uh, lamp post on on a cable. <laughs> it's like a jalapeno on a stick. I'm sorry, uh, it's not. Uh, and then we do have uh, this one. This is maybe one I forgot. Yeah, this one I forgot. Um, that's the last one. This is basically also made out of these kind of oil lanterns um, or oil lamps, and I didn't rotate them around their own origin. I just plop them onto a pillar and just moved it a tiny little bit outwards and then I just rotated the pillar four times, grabbed all the pieces and rotated them again and again and again and again and again. So that this kind of structure was made out of it. So um, yeah, basically I have to say I'm really happy with how this one turned out uh, because this is a little bit bigger and wider than the other ones and in comparison to actual lamp sizes we should need this is actually matching it kind of perfectly so yeah we do have this one which is not not a lamppost it's just a tiny little detail which I thought it would be nice maybe we are using it a little bit more often but yeah and there is a last thing I did which I'm kind of proud of and this is a bench a kind of Arabian bench and I just you know went to Google and just typed down Arabian bench and saw if there is any result and yes there were some decent results and I have to say I came across this uh, little design over here and I just thought okay the the books are just perfect to do it and just did it with the uh, books from the spooky pack and honestly I think I have got a new favorite piece in the game it is definitely it is definitely the little book the book is the best piece in the game it's totally the best piece in the whole game. I just have to say so. It, it's so small, it has so much detail, you can use it on such a nice scale, and it's just perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, anyways, let's move on. Uh, I don't know, uh, you saw in the last episode the windows, but maybe you can look close to them right now. Uh, another window over here, we have... Uh, if the other windows already plopped down no I didn't um, but what we can see already I put a guy down because this will be the entrance to the dark ride and I thought it would be a nice idea to make the entrance um, on the upper hand side so that people would actually go here um, so I believe this is kind of a cool idea because then we get some traffic around here uh, and also, you know, everywhere around here will be some traffic. We have the flat right down here, so people have to go in here. And we will definitely have something in back of this area. So I kind of wanted to manage the flow of people a little bit, which I believe will be working kind of nicely. But anyways, let's maybe just fly through it for a second. We just have this little pathway. Then I thought it would be nice to... Whoops, sorry. Um... Yeah, we get a nice view now on the entire park. Look at this. Okay, I I just wait. Let's let's do something for just for uh, picture perfect things. Maybe we can. Ah, oh, it's lagging. Okay, it doesn't doesn't really work like I wanted it to, but maybe we can do uh, this as a screenshot. I don't know. Maybe as the 
Um, thumbnail of this video. I don't know. Or maybe we take this as a thumbnail. I have no clue. Let me see. Maybe we can put it like this. I don't know. Yeah, like this. Okay, anyways. Mm. So you see how this turns out and I just wanted to tell about what we are going to do with the queue. So the queue will be done um, on top of this will be a whole roof and I wanted to do some smaller towers here and here. So that this is kind of the minaret area if that makes sense. We will put down some custom roofs on top of it here and plop some you know basic props and stuff down here to make it more, look more interesting but this queue will then go alongside the roof so that people can watch down I, I think that could be a nice point to watch at the whole area and then it will go down into I believe this will be the staircase area over here at least it was planned like this so that it goes down over here into and we will lower the ground down a, a lot more so that in the ground will be the station of the of the dark ride which um, then will be uh, as I said below the entire area and will get out of this whole thing and now I'm gonna spoil something I I wasn't sure if I should do it because this was kind of a secret but you know what why keeping this a secret you will see that I'm going to build this and I don't have that many clicks right so it's not that people are running out there and telling everybody what I'm going to do so here's it I'm going to build a Noria uh, I, I have no idea if this is the right pronunciation but the idea is to have the Noria which is basically this kind of thing which produces water for a oasis that um, those you know the Arabian people can have stuff growing there and the Noria is kind of the water resource machinery thing whatever uh, so it gathers you water and the idea is this one you know has also kind of the water wheel uh, going on and I will also build this entire thing custom and so the coaster will then come out of this through the Noria it will be go up into the coaster section then the coaster will you know it won't be that huge you know I, I'm planning to let the coaster get out of here so it will go here have a steeper drop over here maybe turns around a few times um, I don't even know if I keep this one um, but it will then go around here to maybe go one time around this flat right get into this area over here quickly and then go into the final drop which will end up here and then it will go around this area into the cave again which will be here back into the station um, which I might want to relocate then but I definitely definitely wanted to have it go back into here maybe we have the end of the story then in here as well but yeah that's basically how I planned it at the moment but that doesn't mean that it has to be like this <laughs> Yeah, because I always change my plans uh, according to what I have in mind in each and every episode. Because, you know, with building, there's always something new coming along. So maybe we're gonna back to daytime because performance is way better in daytime. So let's get back. Ah, there we go. A lot better frame rate right now. Actually, it didn't change much, but normally it feels better. But I'm recording and streaming at the same time, but yeah. So yeah, this is how it looks in daytime. Daytime, nighttime, nighttime, daytime. Oh wait, I forgot a lamppost. There is one more lamppost, which is this one. And if you have watched carefully, you see that this one is the same as we have in the toilet um, over there. And uh, yeah, this is basically a simple lamppost over here. But yeah, so um, this was a quick update video. As I said, hopefully you are not mad that there is no time lapse today. It is basically because um, yeah, I was uh, <laughs> having an issue that I don't have any time to record more episodes, and this is why I decided to do a do to do 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 a quick showcase video. So um, one last thing I wanted to mention: this area won't stay empty, but I'm not gonna tell you exactly what will be here because that will be a secret. I still have a lot of fear that this is not gonna work. But anyways, so guys, um, thank you for watching again. And uh, let me know what you think of this area so far. Let me know all your ideas. And uh, if you don't want to talk about Planet Coaster, let me know what your problems are. I love to listen. I love to read all the comments and whatever. Yeah, just enjoy your day and see you then in the next episode. Again in a time lapse then. So see you then and bye bye.